Hi, I'm Trang Tran here to talk to you about TIP Income Protection Act, TIPA for short. This law was passed in March of 2018. It states that an employer may not take an employee's tip. An employer may not take an employee's tip and give it to a manager or a supervisor. The law does not define what a supervisor or a manager is, but the DOL has interpreted it to be uh, people that fall within the executive exemption. One special thing about TIPA is that it restricts the employer from using someone's tip to pay managers or to keep the, the tip, even if the employer is paying the employee the minimum wage of seven twenty-five an hour. So usually waiters or wait staff or bartenders or tipped employees are paid a sub minimal below minimum wage set, uh, pay of sub two thirteen an hour. So it's below seven twenty-five. But TIPA says now that even if they're paying the minimum of seven twenty-five, they're not allowed to take that tip above it and use it. Uh, for their own use. So they can't take that money uh, and give it to managers or supervisors. They can't take but that money for credit card fees that is higher than what they're charged by the credit card company. And all the things I covered in the previous video, such as walkouts, shortages, misorders, breakages, uniform, you can't charge the employees for any of those things because TEPA restricts uh, the restaurants or the business from taking any of the um, wait staff or tipped employees tips. Even if that wait staff or the tipped employee is being paid the minimum wage. So it's a higher standard now. And so um, the penalty is uh, over a thousand dollar per incident. You have to pay back the tip that you took. And um, if there's a delta or the difference between uh, what you're paying the tipped employee per hour to $7.25, you have to pay that difference back. And of course, you have to pay liquidated damages and attorney's fees.